Okay, testing. One, two, three. Just checking. Audio. Good. Music. Good. Let me know. If not, I will just keep continuing on with the stream. Um, hello. My name is Tiffany. How are you? We are having a uh, knitting stream here on the, my YouTube channel. Uh, 1 p.m. PSD, Tuesday, Thursdays, as of still. Um, and we're just gonna knit, uh, I don't remember what I usually say at the beginning of these. I really should write it down, but alas, if you guys are making anything with me, uh, please let me know in the chat or also put it in the Discord. Discord is linked in my description and you can post pictures of what you guys are making or if you want me to see a pattern or see anything really, you can add it there. Um, and it's always a lovely time when we look at it in the middle of the stream. Um, is that it? Yeah. Just come ahead and come and have a good time. That's it. That's all it is. Get your lovely drinks. I have both a cup of water. Nope. It's a cup of coffee and tea. So that's something else. Um, but yeah, stay hydrated. Make sure you stretch if you are also knitting with me. Yeah. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, I, if you saw the title of the video, I am unraveling my typical tank. I will show you. So, this is the typical tank. I've, I've unraveled both of the um, armholes, okay? She's stunning. She's stunning. She's quite empty without the harm holes. Um, I'm just gonna unravel the borders. I don't know why, but I just don't like the ribbing. The ribbing just isn't me anymore. I'm like a stockinette folded brim girl now. That's all I do. I finished the um, typical dress with, funny enough, it's because we, it's because I did this last stream is that's what got my momentum. Mo my momentum, my momentum running, and I was able to finish all of the edges with this lovely stockinette. And so I'm like quickly trying to write this pattern up because I'm like, Tiffany, this needs to get out before I die. So that's just what we've been uh, doing anyway. So we're gonna do it for this guy, and I'm excited because then I can uh, extend the the sizes for the typical tank, and then write it in the new pattern format, send out like the reissued version to everyone who's bought it and add this uh, border band as an option if you want. So, um, JP High Lane, Sil, hi. Um, Sarah, good evening. Uh, Emily, hi everyone. What is everyone knitting? Yes, please tell me. Natalie, hello. I think Jadmi, hello. Welcome back to the Colton <laughs> meeting. Yes, we are back here with our knitting cult. Um, Hi, how are you? I'm good. I... Sorry, I'm hearing music. I went to a Pilates class, so I'm feeling tired, but like awake. It's kind of weird. Um, hi, working on the body of my typical sweater, so just some chill stockinette in the round for now. Very chill. I always do my bodies. My bodies will never have anything extra to them. It's just the body and... You can just knit and stock in it forever and be happy. Hi from Bay Area. Currently working on the typical sweater. Yes. Um, I'm in search of a new project. No current whips here. I've got, I've gotten into crochet. Okay. So then look for crochet stuff. Of course, of course. Um, working on, oh my gosh, everyone's working on the typical sweater. <laughs> we love, I also love that so many of you guys from the streams are like, are also doing like the test knits. It feels like very... It feels nice to have people, I guess, who come consistently and get to enjoy the test net. Uh, I'm in search. Oh no, I read that one. Sorry. Um, but how how's the week been? The week has been good. We've been doing lots of pattern writing, lots of knitting, and it's just it's it's is it laggy? Oh no, hi everyone. Ugh, so laggy. Oh no, 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 no. Is it laggy? <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna pretend like it isn't. Uh, keep going. Um, but yeah, other than that, we're pretty gochi. I'm trying to think of what happened this week. Yeah, 
we just were like really productive. Um, and it felt nice. So I started cross stitch. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I deserve to do a little cross stitch. And I started one and I have so many other like embroidery stuff I need to get done. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna treat myself to this. <laughs> so I like am limiting myself to like 30 minutes each day. Um, so happy to catch a stream. Thank you for coming. Hello, happy Tuesday. Savannah, hello. Uh, Diana, hello. I'm finally able to catch a stream. Thank you for coming. Anyone know any good Noral alternatives? Stoked for the Teresa card again, but don't have the budget for Noral at the moment. I feel you. The issue is, is that any alternative is going to be really expensive as well. I know someone used an alternative yarn, but I don't remember what it was. It may have been a Barocco. I could be making that up out of thin air. Uh, I need a PK Drops collection. But will she make one? I think she would only ever do this a year. She should do one with Sis Larragut. Because Sis Larragut just did one with um, Hige Holt or whatever. They she they did um, a collaboration where they used their yarns and then they dyed it. So I feel like that would be the perfect combo. But everyone would just be poor. Um, it's, it's a community here. It truly is. Um... How do you wrapping up some work, but then hoping to knit some? Nice. Working on a crochet Mona plushie from Nanalan. Okay. Um, okay, it's all good. It's good. I just cast on Petite Knits Stockholm Slipover Mini for my three-year-old niece because I don't have the patience to knit myself a garment right now. I mean, but a little piece is going to be stunning. Also, making tiny knits is so fun. Stop. You're going to make me want to make... I'm going to have to make a typical sweater baby. Like, I don't... I Like... I'm gonna have to, my mom called it a hope chest, which made me really sad um, just cause it was called that, but it's definitely, I guess what I'm gonna be making. Wait, what is the significance of a hope chest? Unmarried women used a hope chest to store valuable things and save up for the marriage they dreamed of having someday. Okay, so that's me, I guess. Um, I did not need to look that up and crush my soul. Um, but yeah, maybe I'm going to do that. Uh, working on the first sleeve of the Esther jacket. Honestly, the Esther sweater is growing on me, but no one can talk me into it because I'm just like, it's like tunnel vision. I swear I have, I like, I, cause I want it. I want to grow as a designer. So I think. I need that for me. So, alas, please everyone just knit it and love it for me. Uh, I'm at school right now. I should be studying, but I'm procrastinating. Study. Study right now. Turn this off. Um, <laughs> I'm finishing up sweater number 15. I believe in you. Just joined in the round for my cumulus tea. Oh, cumulus tea is lovely. Um, I'm kind of curious about her own neck. I'm not gonna do it, but like, I can't imagine that I cord edge being very nice around my head. Like having to pull that over, I think would, um, destroy my cranium. Ah, hi, hi, eating some quiche and then we'll be knitting on my Janny sweater. Nice. Can someone tell me what the deal is with Salish Co Oh, how do you say that? I've seen that word so many times. How do you say it? Koachan? Koachan. Koachan. Uh, sweaters. I really want to knit one, but I've seen people say it's cultural appropriation and that's the last thing I want to do. Oh no! Okay, wait. Koachan. Sweater. Is it like a. Sp I'm okay. Koachan knitting. What is a Koachan sweater? Unlike feral or Shetland garments, Koachan sweaters are always hand knit. A thick hand spun one ply. Ooh, natural colored yarn in two or three colors. Oh, okay. I've definitely seen this pattern before. Salish sweaters are definitely a traditional thing. I wouldn't make it. Salish. Or Salish? Oh, interesting. Oh, I get it though. They're really pretty. But if they are traditional, then I guess that is a no no. Then that is a no no. I would say, you know, that's hard. Uh, 
should I be showing it? It kind of looks like this. Sorry. I should be screen sharing it. These are kind of... Ooh. I would... S Ooh. People making their living selling them so you could buy one. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Buy one that's hand knit because they're hand knit by... Um... hand it by them oh oh yeah oh that's nice oh oh i want to buy one. Oh, okay that's so that's so sweet um okay pk sendis garden contract is probably still going to be strong for a couple more years i think oh she, she can't do any collaborations with anyone else that makes a lot more sense she probably also makes so much money from that I can't even imagine. Um, just finished the color work charts for my slip over. Now I'll do some lovely stockinette. Bless. <clears throat> yes, I will test it. Yes, I don't have a baby, but it's fine. I feel like it's easier to test it like baby stuff. Like I would totally do it because like you could kind of test it any size unless you have a specific, like a specific baby. <laughs> Um, uh, the indigenous people of BC. Oh, I didn't know it was specifically British Columbia. Oh, that's really cool. Um, I think that sort of stuff only looks nice with rustic yarns. Mm. I can see that. I saw one with the mohair. The one that's on the stream. Um, someone's been making the brown version and that one's so nice. Um, I made a hope chest for moving out of my parents' house. Way less serious. I just put things away like kitchen and bathroom stuff so I'd have it when I was ready to move out. Dude, I have been eyeing glassware every time I go into the thrift store. And I'm like, where the F am I going to be putting this? So I guess I'm going to have to get a hope chest as well. Because I can't just keep storing it in like my cupboards. It just like hasn't been working anymore. Um... Working on the Esther jacket today, but finishing my poppy tea. Poppy tea's nice. I love that one. Should also be studying, but playing Stardew instead. Oh, I need to play Stardew. But I've been, like, scarred after playing Sims 4. I'm like, guys, I cannot play another game. Um, were you able to fix your Sunday tea the way you wanted it? I love that you wrote it like a tea. I haven't touched it since, because I'm too scared to touch it. So we're just going to leave it there. Um, I definitely wouldn't recommend knitting a Kawachan. Kawachan. I'm going to say it like that. Uh, if you want one, I'd buy one from an indigenous artist for sure. Hi, everyone. Going to be lurking today, but sending good, happy project vibes to everyone on this lovely Tuesday. Also sweet. Um, yes, he is. About to cast on the hands home sweater for my brother-in-law. Honestly, looking forward to the endless stockinette. I... I've been loving it. Um, I want to do it more, but the issue is like, I think because with pattern designing, you feel like uh, almost a sense of relief reaching the stockinette stage, but also like a sense of like uncertainty. So I cry. Um, Erica Knight, pure tweet, a reasonably good sub for Nora Madara, a little bit cheaper, but still a bit steep for me. Mm. Um, hi everyone, what are we talking about? We're just chilling. Uh, hi from Sweden, love your content. Thank you, Rebecca. Uh, and also baby nets get done quick too. Yeah, for sure. Various indigenous groups from coast to Salish on the east. Where is that? Salish. The Salish people are indigenous people of American and Canadian Pacific Northwest. Mm. Uh, I mean, a mini hope chest. It had a few things because I didn't really know it was a thing until later. I just... It just makes you think, like, what happens if it never happens? That's, like, putting too much into this chest. So I just... It's just going to be a... It's just, it's just a box where I'm going to be putting stuff that I want for later. Um, just dropped pre-order... For Stardew Valley. Oh, Nerdy Knits. Oh, that's cute. For Stardew Valley inspired yarn, I'm going to spend all my money. Um, I ordered these glasses with mirrors in them so I could look down at my knitting while I'm sitting up. Wow. Like, interesting. That seems really intense. I love it. I only need three more decreases on the sweater. I can finally be back on my boring sweater train. Love. 
I also would love to be on that. But alas, for some reason I was like, you know what, Tiffany, let me just drop everything that I was doing and let's just randomly pick up the typical tank. So I'm just picking up stitches, okay? We're just picking up stitches. That's all I'm gonna do it. Uh, give it to someone you love. Oh, that's true. Like I always forget like test knits don't always have to be your size. You can always just knit it for someone else. Um, I used to use those. It feels so silly, but they work well. Oh, damn. Okay, let me know how they go. I probably won't get them, but they sound kind of fun. Like, can you, I'm assuming you can't see out normally. Um, my friends are having babies, so I'm knitting baby things for them. It's satisfying my baby. It's satisfying my baby knit fever, yes. Like, I need that. Like, I need something to do that for me and I would love to also stash bust so maybe I should use like a oh should I use like a hand one of my hanks for my uh, uh for my hand dyed yarn collection that I have accumulated and uh, maybe just make something from there and like a fingering weight yarn or is that crazy so like I'm like torn as well not that I'm gonna say like not saying that I'm gonna make like a baby thing I mean but honestly, I'm essentially saying that. Um, should I do it kind of like, I'm torn. Cause Petite Knit does, she does a baby version and then she does a child version. And the child version is usually the same weight as the adult version. And the baby version is like the weight of like a fingering weight. So I'm kind of torn. Should I do it like that? Cause I don't, like I want to knit the baby sweater and maybe a fingering weight, but at the same time it's like, I wouldn't want that to be for a child. Does it make sense? Um, so I get why she does it, but it also hurts me that she does it. So I don't know. I don't know. Because then at that point, would I just do like, like a typical sweater light and then a typical sweater normal? I don't know. Then things get way too confusing. Um, oh, should I hit... Oh my gosh, why do I do this? I hit the um, cord again. I just hit the cord for the mic. Uh, let me know if the mic is okay. Um, I wouldn't be able to do a hope chest. I'll forget about it and just buy everything again. Well, then you gotta have an open hope chest. The chest just never closes. Um, there's a documentary about coach and sweaters that just got nominated at the Canadian Screen Awards for Best Doc. Okay, well... I love how you're show you're like telling us all about these documentaries. I guess we have to have to watch them now, uh, because I have to. Um, nothing wrong with a baby in a chunky knit. <laughs> Looks like a marshmallow. Uh, have y'all seen Spectalistrix new design? Sorry, I can't tell. No worries. We all understood. I have not seen it. Or I have seen it and I don't know anything about it. Tell me more. Yeah, now when testnets ask for first and second choices, I make my second choice something that will fit someone I'd gift in it too. Oh, that's really nice. Um, yeah, I, I didn't realize that you could also just choose, like if you are like really dead set on one size, you can just choose the size, you, your first choice as your second choice. You just do it at this, like both. And I was like, oh, that's so smart. I would have never thought that. The white yarn is so shiny. I know it's bamboo. It's quite quite a shiner uh it's also really soft i actually really liked this bamboo yarn um but sadly it's whack um did we already take a moment for the amazingly delicious neckline of your typical tuesday top oh my gosh no oh that's so sweet of you um yeah i just posted a picture of the neckline um on my instagram and thank you because i also I also believe she's delicious. Um, but yeah, hoping to get that tested as well. So keep an eye out uh, for a tester call. Not anytime soon, 
but soon. <laughs> um, I have some yarn to make a baby sweater, but it super washes out okay. That is stunning. Uh, nothing wrong with the baby. I read that one. I used to test knit for Excel and gave it to a friend. Oh, that is so sweet. I honestly should, um, how do I say this? Try to knit a 4XL. I'm curious to see if I could do it because I feel like I couldn't, which is so sad. Um, but I, like, it just seems like so much work. And, like, the fact that so many of you guys have to do that is wild. It must take, like, so much longer now. Um, whack is whack, if you will, truly. Um, but then I realized they kind of suck and we aren't friends anymore. Oh, they're lucky I didn't ask for them back. Damn, that sucks. Um, that is indeed whack. I just spent $85 on Stardew Yarn. YOLO. I mean, if you know you're going to love it and you're going to use it, YOLO for sure. Uh, Nerdy Knits. I guess it's a pre-order. Oh, why doesn't it? Oh, it's so hard. I'm doing this on 2.75 and it's quite tight. Um, I just envisioned an Aaron coat on a toddler with toggle buttons. So cute. Oh, that'd be so cute. What colors? Ooh, I need an, I need an adult size Selma sleep suit. Oh my gosh, dude, don't. Don't you dare say that, because I'll, I'll make a garter. I need to make a garter stitch um, sweater. I need one. And I said I was going to do one. Oh, God. When, when will I have the time? Um, but I agree. There needs to be one. Maybe like a hoodie. Oh, a hoodie version would be iconic. Um, I could do it in a month, but I'm actually insane. Hi everyone, hi. The only reason I've been so quick on the 5XL typical sweater chest knit is because I knit 10 hours almost every day. Okay, okay, good to know. Honestly, maybe she could be done. Yeah, that's why I, I always have to make sure that the test knits are, you know, reasonable. Because it's just wild. Just wild out there. Um... I have a 28 inch bust and even the idea of knitting a sweater for my wife who now has decided superwash window is an issue with a 41 inch bust feels like so much more knitting mad respect oh yeah hundred percent so i respect the larger sized garment knitters for sure you guys are honestly the real g's what does that even mean did i just call you like gangsters alas I'm one of the few process knitters. Also, oh, I don't mind how long things take. I think most people take two or so months. Okay, okay. Oh my god. Okay, sorry. I hate picking up with these so much. It is so painful. I need this to end. Oh gosh, why? Why did I ever make this? A three millimeter pattern. Oh my god. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I think you did ask. I am. So this is the typical tank, if everyone did remember. Um, I'm planning, the hope is, is to redo all three of the edges. So both arms and the collar. I want to do it in the stockinette. Um, and just see how it looks because I, I love the stockinette brim so badly. So I, I need, I need to see how it looks like. Cause I do find that I don't wear my typical tank out as much because I find that the ribbing is quite, um, like a difference compared to like the overallness of it. And I don't know why. So, I just, I want to do it for my own sake and um, then I can take cute photos and redo the the pattern and add more sizes to it um, and just, you know, be really happy with like a relaunch kind of thing. 
Um, yeah, if I like it, I'm going to relaunch it. Yeah, I almost cast on another the other day. Oh, cute. Yeah, so we're just going to relaunch. We're going to... I'm gonna rewrite it in the new pattern format. We're gonna take cute photos if we like this um, and add more sizes so then people can like test knit the larger sizes um, and be on our merry way. Cause oh, there was, someone had asked me to, if they if I um, was gonna add more sizes to this and I, I, I told them yes, but that was such a long time ago and I'm like, oh girl, I hope you still want this. <laughs> um, you were in your small needles era, 100%. That was a dangerous era. Just because I think it was, I was just following everyone else was the thing. It was, I was just seeing everyone doing like three millimeter tanks and, are you working with wavy yarn? I'm working, I guess technically, yes. I'm just, I'm never someone to wash this. I'm not gonna wash it. I'm just gonna reuse it because it's gonna be knitted anyway. Um, Knitting regular men's sizes can be so dreadful. I just enjoy my crop to potato sacks. Um, I don't mind long knits if they're engaging, but just talking in the round requires a strong attention span for me. For sure. Same though. Um, are you gonna put an elastic in the folded part so it doesn't stretch out? I could. Will I though? I'm a little lazy, but I definitely could. I am also thinking I really want to do a swimsuit. I don't know why. It's not in my plans anytime soon, but I just recently discovered this brand called Ch Ch Chamade. I don't know how you pronounce it, um, but they're like a French company and they came out with this like elastic yarn that they use for bathing suits and I would love to try it out but um, it's quite expensive. So I was thinking of just maybe knitting bamboo with one strand of an elastic and see if that would work as well. Um, where do you get the supplies for your stitch markers process, progress knee, uh, progress keepers? I'm thinking of making my own, but I don't know where to start. Um, unfortunately, I have to keep that a secret because that is me, but Michael's. Michael's is a great place to start, 100%, if you're looking for some uh, little clasps and stuff like that, and charms. Just really any sort of wholesale charm is the way to go. Um, your yarn is never Romany enough to worry about it. But then, but then everyone else's is like, oh, we, we have to they have to redo it. Like they have to wash it. And I'm like, but, but I really don't want to. And I've never had an issue. So I think it's fine. Um, chunky tanks tees do sound kind of weird to me personally. Yeah. And so that's why I think everyone does the, like the three millimeter and I get it. Um, and you know, I have been, I, I think I've been dabbling with three and a halfs, you know, so it's not like I'm branching out too far. Um, I still make about, they're usually like four millimeters at most. Oh, I can't pick this up. Plain socket that I love doing while reading, listening to something somewhat intense. Okay. Is the, the brand Fufu Knit poster about? I don't know if they did. I don't. Okay. I've been on the same stitch for the last four minutes ah! okay you know what just skipping it uh stocking it reading is a good combo yes oh yes elastic yarn would be awesome it could actually be worn in the water then too i'd imagine yeah has anyone seen the people making bio yarn i have the algae yarn oh my gosh lily no worries don't need to say sorry at all um but yeah i would say just look for like um like like chain loop things um as well as like necklace clasps um people use that for stitch markers and you can get that at any michaels um i can never do plain socket knit in boring neutral colors i don't have the attention span for that like i would immediately get bored yeah black really does hurt but it's also like one of the only things i wear so it like double hurts. 
Um, but yeah, so I don't know. I'm kind of torn whether I want to spend that much money to get this elasticy yarn. So I am thinking of just like mixing because I have, um, it's like this. Do you think this would work? It's like this elastic, this is what I use to thread, like the elastic thread that I would thread in like, like um, a collar or something. So just like knitting this alongside this to make sort of like a, like a, a swimsuit of some sort. And that would save me a billion dollars. Um, I feel like as long as it doesn't affect gauge, it's fine to skip washing. Okay. I can never be bothered to wash frog yarn. I figured it'd be fine since I blocked the final anyway. Very true. Oh my god, these are tiny. Oh my god, these are okay. Okay, these are really tiny. Okay, so next is a stitch marker. So I don't lose my spot. And we're stood in. Um the bio yarn the bio yarn is cool as hell sorry i i think it's cool but at the same time i'm like this is not practical um it looks so nasty it like looks kind of funny when they first make it and then it looks so weird once it's dried because it doesn't stay that like same consistency um yeah i would say just like watch just watch some tiktoks of bio yarn and you'll see it and it's honestly not my favorite also my nose is stuffy and I don't know why yeah and like you wouldn't use it for clothing I've seen people just use it for uh we could play it should I play it okay wait let me look if it'll even load tiktok bio yarn Okay, okay, wait. I really hope the music doesn't play. It is so loud when the music plays. I, oh, I gotta log in. Continuous guest, continuous guest. Oh, the music is so loud. Okay, okay. I fixed it. The music is not loud anymore. Okay, we will watch this. Um, okay, so I don't know how they do this algae specifically. Yeah, you gotta like pour it and you gotta make it and then it becomes this like jelly sort of the grossness and and then and then I don't know I don't and this is it dry I don't I don't know yeah 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 and then she'll just crochet it like oh my god Like what, I don't know what you're doing that for. Like it's not for me. <laughs> um, but I guess it's cool, kind of. But I'll never do it. Texture nightmare. Uh, it's cool but disgusting. <laughs> uh, their shearing thread, shearing thread would be a better choice or something along the lines of that. Okay, okay, I'll look into it. Um, I'd be so interested to see the result of the bamboo and elastic, yeah. Might do a swatch. Um, just wondering, have you noticed? No, have you ever received hateful knitting comments? Just wondering because Handmade by Florence apparently has been getting a ton of hate after a new pattern and just so stumped. Oh no, why is she getting hate? Oh, that's so sad. Is it the the cardigan? The broken rib cardigan? Or she's another pattern? Um, yeah, I've 100% gotten hate comments. Um, it kind of just comes with being on the internet, which is lovely. Um, and also just sad because it's like I have never once said anything truly mean to someone like on like a video or a comment or anything like that. So um, it's crazy to think that there's people out there who do, but that's kind of just, yeah, it sucks. Um, and I will delete them because it's only good vibes here on this channel. Um, I mean, we, weird people have come on this on the streams as well um but yeah i always thought the knitting community was the sweetest and they they are like the fact that like my chats are like i don't have to moder moderate them very often like compared to other communities it's 
I would say very sweet. And then like the craft darks would be on another area. Um, no, there are, there are a surprising amount of mean snobby knitters. There are, um, unfortunately. What did she revive hate for specifically? Um, the knitting community has become more hostile lately, for sure. Like, like the egg yo knit thing, like it's, it can be quite, um, scary at times, which is sad. Like for like designer versus designer, oh, um, craft snark is proof that the knitting community is not as wholesome as it seems for sure. Looks like spaghetti that has dirt. Um, but why does the bow yarn make me want ramen or udon? Honestly, they should have just made that into a, like add tapioca flour, make that into a noodle, and then you have algae noodles. No? I, I should, I should, um, I was gonna say patent that. Um, bow yarn makes me want pho. <laughs> Craft Stark is the worst of worst though. Yeah, craft snark is honestly very scary. Um, but yeah, I've had comments, people saying like they don't like my patterns or, you know, my videos aren't great or all that fun jazz. But, you know, at the same time, I know that my stuff isn't for everyone and that's totally okay. Um, I saw a hate comment about you naming your sweater chorizo. Wait, what was the hate? The hate was, why is it so funny? Why is it so bizarre? I hope there was an actual hate. That's crazy. Um, anything on Reddit is the worst. Reddit is a scary place, I agree. I also don't love it there sometimes. Um, Teresa is the best and funniest name. I feel like if you don't understand the lore, it makes absolutely no sense. But I think that's like the fun of it. Like that's the fun of naming. Like you don't have to like, like why are you taking it so seriously? They just thought the name of Teresa was weird. They're, they're, yeah, they're obviously a fake fan. They don't understand. Um, but... I think that's fine. It's not like I'm naming it something super messed up. Yeah, exactly. It's literally not that deep. It's it's just a name. It's just a sweater. It's it's for fun. Like I could name like my next sweater dirt, you know, or like something that's happening in my life. Like it doesn't have to be like beautiful, like like words, you know. It's just like anything. Um, TBH, my boyfriend is a moderator in his friend's gaming Twitch stream, and that seems like a full-time job. Um, and then we're here talking about algae. Yeah, like, there's some, like, oh my gosh. And then I see, um, like, gamer girls on TikTok, and they'll, like, sh they'll show you what their audio sounds like from all the other guy, um, like, gamers, and, like, that, that's scary. Like that's like we, us here, nothing compared to that. So um, I think we're okay as of now. Um, they, melt, they make kelp noodles. I see them at the Asian market. Oh, they have, um, ooh, what's it called? Ooh, ooh, I don't remember. It's some sort of algae that has like zero calories. Ooh, ooh my aunt got me on it. I don't remember what it's called, but it's definitely a Japanese name and you have to keep it in water. It's like, it comes in like a package and it's like in this like liquid and then like the, the noodles are kind of wrapped but if you keep it out of like if you store it without the water it gets hard so it's essentially the same thing it's already something that's come out i guess um just google Teresa for the first time looks yummy um but it's funny because like i was getting comments on my youtube being like you i laugh every time you say the terrazzo sweater because i've just been saying it completely wrong and so i just think it's iconic it's iconic that now i have my own chorizo sweater you know um didn't grow up eating chorizo so now whenever i cook it i play a game of is this still raw or is it supposed to look like that oh i honestly don't i don't know either so i play that game with any food i cook 
I just, I just like cut it. I got very angry at that comment irrationally. It lives rent free in my head and it's been at least a month. Oh, that's so sweet of you. That's so funny. Um, as you know, I'm a certified hater, but so much hate comments online are just stupid for sure. Um, I didn't grow oh, I read that one. The Pete Moss sweater. What is that? Is that an actual name? I don't even know what Pete Moss is. I'm so sorry. Um, Anna, hi. Is kelp different than seaweed in taste? I don't know. I wouldn't know. I don't eat kelp. Exactly, it's a running joke and I love that for you. <laughs> yeah, like, if you know, you know. And we love that. Like, if you don't know, then you don't know. So everyone who ever knits any of, like, my Noro-specific yarn patterns are going to be like, this is weird. Peat moss is like dirt. Oh. <laughs> uh, imagine. All my next patterns are just, like, different dirts. Um, I've been here in a while, so I'm overwhelmed with uni. Good to be here to relax for a bit understandable uni is so stressful i don't think i've ever experienced anything more stressful because like even even like work wasn't that stressful because for me you could just not like once you're done work it was over uni it was like okay i have to stress about this forever um and it's hard to have like a good balance for sure First time I heard you say the trees of cardigan, I was like, wait, did she say chorizo? And then I saw the testaments and I was like, oh yeah, it's the trees of the food. My people love my people love. And we love that. We love a good chorizo. Like no I don't know. Let's go. Where's chorizo from? Spain. Typical red sand tea. <laughs> uh did you put Yes, I did put a marker. Thank you. There was just no way. I would forget immediately. Um, fun fact, peat moss is n a non-renewable resource. Love that. Love it so much. Um, no, for real. Uni stress hits different in the worst way. Yeah. Just found you before I found Petite Knit. Aw. So I just assumed that's what it was called. I thought the title trees are referred to the variegated yarn. Because trees was kind of variegated meat, right? Yeah. So it all kind of like, it works. Like, it works. And I will never change it. It will, oh, it, like, no one can bully me into changing the name. Um, so I love it. It's kind of like, you know how she named Terezo. Sorry. Terezo. Ter no, Terezo. I don't know. I will never know. Um, she named it because that was like, the effect that the Nora was for her, I think. Terrazzo. Yeah. Like, this makes way more sense. <laughs> like, this is why she named the Terrazzo sweater this way. Because of this, like, the actual, like, this type of, um, it's stonework? Is this stone? Composite poured in place or precast, which is used for floor and wall treatments. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's a type of, like, I want to say tile or flooring. So that's just what I did, just with chorizo. And I love that. Um, honestly, I feel like Nara looks more like chorizo than terrazzo. Okay, wait. Ch chorizo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so funny. Every time you look this up, you're just going to see meat. <laughs> Oh my gosh, next one I should do is chicken. I should do like chicken, we should do pork, like any sort of like food, meat, <laughs> just to really, just to really dig it in. Um, that that's what my patterns are about. <laughs> it's so funny. I love this. Anyway. Mexican chorizo is elite. Spanish chorizo tastes like nothing. Okay. Um, I've never had real Mexican food because Canada. Gotta visit you. 
I also agree. I don't think I don't think Canada really has it at all. Like the Mexican food is okay, but it doesn't feel like it's amazing. Uh, I had really good Mexican food in LA, but even then, I don't even think that's even touching the surface. Uh, lifelong vegetarian here, so I only know soy rizzo, but it does hit. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, going back to the hate comments, I've gotten some, but it was more like snarky, and I was like, question mark? It's so unnecessary sometimes. Oh no! My camera! Give me a moment. Sorry, the camera has died. Okay. I'm good. Okay. Let me go back. Um, I just ignored Delete. Like, one got mad I named my video a podcast. Oh, that is so silly. Um, yeah, no, I just delete them. I just don't want to see them. They're gone. Goodbye. It's like it never happened. Um, and then I don't have to feel bad. Uh, because they do honestly ruin my day. So please don't send me hate. It just makes me really sad. Thanks um, Honestly, if I read that one I immediately go to one of my friends uh, To ask for name advice for my patterns because nothing comes to my mind literally nothing comes to my mind I have such decision fatigue when it comes to naming things It's like the fact that I can even solidify anything and be really happy with that We're never taking that away um, the, the, the original terrazzo gave more of a layered sand and jar feel to me. Mm. Um, I want to go to Baya. Oh, how do you say that? Baya? Baya. California. One of my friends said there is the best food there. Okay. The pork pullover. Oh my gosh. The pullover pork. The pull pork. <laughs> the bacon tank. Calabrese cardigan. Wait, that... That sounds amazing though. Poultry pants. Uh, I guess that's a need. Salami tea. Stop. We're not doing that. Uh, I think that would be crazy. Calabrese. Is a broccoli? Oh, salami. Oh, I'm into it. I'm into the salami. But it's also broccoli. Okay, I can't. It's like too much tomato. <laughs> it's too much red looking. Um, Brie, I can't imagine being mean to you. Like what? Oh, vegetarian Mexican here and allergic to soy. So talking about truth so makes me hungry, but I can't have any. I'm so sad. Okay, I'm very sorry. We'll stop. <laughs> uh, Baja. Thank you. I don't know why I immediately went to why. Um... Terrazzo as a floor pattern gives me flashbacks to my first design job where the pattern was so popular in, t in interior design that it was on everything, including sheets and blankets. Oh, oh. Um, if y'all ever get the chance, try the Bang Bang Broccoli from Red Heat Tavern. They're mainly in New England. Okay, okay. Uh, my controversial opinion is that NorCal... Mexican food is better than the Mexican food in LA. Like the Mexican food here is okay, but you need to know where to go. Okay, okay, let me know where to go, guys. Except honestly, when am I really ever going to San Francisco and LA again? Um, the chicken adobo tank. Oh my God, I'd get destroyed on Cross Uh We've been so whitewashed. We have so much whitewashed Mexican food down here too. Someone really tried to add pomegranate seeds to guac, <laughs> which is a hate crime. Love. Never been to NorCal, so I can't attest to that. I lied. We have one Mexican food owned by Mexicans and they have great food. Okay, then that's lovely. The Calabrese cardigan actually sounds so elegant. It does, and that's a danger. Sorry, I have so many things running, I probably should close them. The prosciutto bag. <laughs> a great name oh we do italian names of things yes uh i'm laughing so hard at poultry fans um j is y in a lot of european countries yes yes sorry languages like russian um hot question has anyone used rit dye to dye some yarn and if so how did it go 
Um, I mean, I did that. I did that in a literal video. Um, it is very doable, but I would recommend like only dyeing like dark color. Like if you're trying to get a light color, then that makes no sense unless your thing is literally white. Um, just come to Washington. Okay, okay. Ooh, I used Rit Dye and it came out nice but bled a lot. I think it was because it was dark blue. Mm. I had a hate comment saying something like, oh, oh, did OnlyFans not work out for you? Damn, that's messed up. I said, nah, but I see your mom is doing well in there. <laughs> Dude, I wish I was like really good at having comebacks like that. That's iconic. What I'm hearing is a charcuterie collection. Oh, we do different cheeses. I would be down for a brie. A gouda. Is that right? Gouda? No. Is that a cheese? Types of cheeses. Swiss cheese. We would just do like the Swiss tank. Um, feta. Ooh, that actually sounds nice. The feta sweater. Tiff, I'll have to go through your comments and leave comebacks. <laughs> well, you can't because I deleted literally all of them. Um, we could do a, a blue cheese, but I would guess I would just call it the blue something because I don't know if I can really keep putting cheese in all of these. Um, feta tote sounds kind of good too. Yeah. The brie tea would slay. It would. I used to red dye and over dye. A cardigan black. I think I, that's what I, I, I mean, I'll use my normal dye, but just do that. Feta sweater. <laughs> I love that. Camembert cami. I like that. F my favorite's Gouda. She's the man is amazing. You can, I, oh my God. The best movie. Um, Well, yeah, let me know if you need hater comebacks. It's like my hobby, damn. Uh, I wanna try to dye some already pink yarn with raspberry hibiscus tea. <gasps> that would be cool. You should. Blue cheese for a marled or tweed pattern. The blue cheese sweater. Every time I hear the cheese gouda, I think of she's the man or the guy. Or girl, I can't remember. It's like my favorite's gouda. No, yeah, that's literally what we're. Oh, Monte, Mont, no, what's it called? Monterey Jack? Great name. Fontina? Ricotta? Great names. All great names. What would I even do this for? This would make literally no sense. Okay, but I really want to make the brie top. <laughs> That's a great name. My fave used to be good as a kid, and I wonder if it's because of the movie. Ooh, how do you pronounce that? Reg, reg, no, reg, reg, reggiano. Did I figure that one out or is it reggiano? There's nowhere. If you make the brie top, then I will be obligated to test. Oh, a hundo P. Food coloring works well as a dye too, for sure. Ricotta would be perfect for a boucle. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, you said it perfectly. Oh, stunning. Whenever I get things right, it's always surprising. It's always a surprise. Um, ooh, how do you say this? Gruyur. Gruyur? I like the name. Anyway, I think I need to do that now. And that's making me upset. The Brie tea, so it rhymes. <laughs> Oh, but then we have to do we have to do the tea collection. It has to be a tea. Um, oh, Gruyere. Thank you, thank you. But the spelling of it looks beautiful. Um, what are we making? I am redoing the arm edges and the neckline of my typical tank, so we can like relaunch it and love it because I don't wear it enough and it needs love and. I want to do that for my boyfriend's slipover and my typical slipover. We just haven't really had the time and I want to, the issue is, is like, I want to re-knit them and then take photos 
um, when in actually I probably could just take pictures in the ones I already have, but alas, I don't want that for some reason. Um, you should aim a sweater stunning. <laughs> True, I could just use the literally sweater, the stunning sweater, the honestly sweater. What are other words I use constantly? The chef's kiss sweater. <laughs> um, oh, Gouda is actually pronounced Gouda. Gouda. Okay. Uh, only people named Brie can test the Brie top. That is namest. And I will never allow that. The real chi sweater. <laughs> Thanks to my testers, Brie, 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 and Brie. Um, I would have maybe two people test knitting. Uh, we now have the breakfast collection and the cheese collection. And the tea collection and the breakfast collection. I think that's just what my patterns are going to be now called. I'm like totally down. Or maybe like all my cream. If I keep doing like cream or like yellow, kind of like those colors, maybe I'll do those will be my cheese. Those will be my cheesies. Um, a burrata pillow would be a dream oh that'd be so cool if all i did oh my god my home deco like if i did like a billion just pillows they would just all beat my cheese collection that's crazy um french oh just like french words but then i feel like that's too basic i feel like everyone kind of does that and um, trying to be a little different. Or I just do like quotes of like, she's the man. <laughs> uh, Gouda is, oh, it's like Gouda. 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 It's from the Netherlands. Nope, it's from, Gouda comes from the city Gouda in the Netherlands. Nice. It's French? Oh. The cheese knowledge is expanding. We just learn. Oh my god, my patterns are just about learning <laughs> about different things. Um, oh my god, so Dutch. Thanks, friends. Wait. Okay. Sorry, that sounded like so fetch, and I, that's incorrect. Um, is there a proper word for Swiss cheese? The white ones with holes. I don't know. I literally don't know enough about cheese. Oh damn, here's me only doing moiri words. Is that considered basic too? Oh no, we have to do the Hakka words, guys. Okay, but I've also been looking into Hakka words and there's really nothing. Um, no, I think it's just because it's French. I think French specifically is like super basic. Um, no, Maori sounds really cool. Um, I would do that if I could. It said Maori. To like Maori the designer. Okay, okay. I'm learning so much, guys. Thank you. Um, maybe a top with eyelets and a reference to the Swiss cheese. <laughs> yeah, like if I were to do cheeses, it would really need to like there needs to be a reason. So currently, I don't have a reason, so we can't do that. But maybe in the future, who knows? Cheddar socks. Oh, that's cute. Maybe if I ever use like just one, just like some weird orangey yellow color. Discord? How's it two already? Guys, what? I've only knit. I've only knit four rows. <laughs> um, also, this time I uh, updated. We're fully updated. No, no, no time to waste. That's what I'm saying. Board the stream chat. I got you. Got you guys real good. Um, Goda is pronounced how, how to, if we're getting real technical. Oh gosh. Okay. So 
I think final answer is it's too hard. We can't. It's too hard. Uh, I've been thinking of designing up a bag and now I'm inspired by cheeses, but in Spanish. Oh, that'd be cool. Socks collection named after cheeses would be kind of funny because stinky feet. <gasps> I love that. We could do that. We could 100% do that. <gasps> oh my gosh. <gasps> I know you're the only ones. This was yesterday at 5 a.m. Uh, who understands this since I have no knitting friends in real life. So I have to show this er earlier. My interchangeable knitting cable broke and my husband saw me struggle and being upset. And then he goes to get a box from the closet. I open it and it's a C-knit needle set. He had bought them for my 30th birthday. It's been four weeks. And he thought that I seemed so sad about my cables that he thought he would bring a solution. <gasps> Oh my god. What? Oh my god. The Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm sorry, but this is like so beautiful. I could be crying. The blue sock. Oh, yes. Bucci's is the stinkiest for sure. Um your husband's amazing. He does he deserves everything and more. Um you are one lucky lady. I don't even think I don't even think my boyfriend knows the the brand of he doesn't even know that there's different brands of needles do you know what i'm saying like this man i think you need to keep him forever and um i'd say marry him but <laughs> marry him again <laughs> you guys need to renew your vows you need to make it about him though it's his day <laughs> um if he wanted to he would strikes again honestly that is so stunning i'm so happy for you um, so sad that none of your friends would understand, but it's so cute that he does. I'm gonna cry. Okay, anyway, that's so lovely. <laughs> oh, everyone is so sweet. Okay. Posting early so I don't forget, but I finished crocheting my sweater over the weekend. Oh my gosh. Also, love the hair, love the room. It's, it's so cute. Literally, I've always wanted to dye my hair like a dark red. I've said this before. We're not doing it. Um, but love it. Yes. Oh my gosh. If you make a pattern, you should. Um, ooh, not sure if I'll make the stream. So posting early. I'm crying. People post early just so we go through it. Yours are so cute. Um, posting early, but finished my last two hibernating whips past, uh, this past week. Now I can start fresh with some new ones. Love this one. Oh my God. I actually, uh, the obsessed sweater. Um, it's i love the colors i think the color choice is amazing the thickness of the the stripes the border band for your zipper the fact that it's cropped i think it'd be lovely uh tiff you should cut your your hair again you look so good with short hair that's so sweet of you to say but never ever again don't you dare um no i i always regret cutting my hair short because i hate the in-between and i love my hair really long so tiff you would look amazing with burgundy hair please <laughs> my hair just like won't pick up any sort of dye ever so or bleach so it's just not gonna happen but love love this is really cool the color very nice um oh wow oh my gosh finished applying two skeins of coat hanger spun singles that's crazy can, can you please please girl can you just buy can you buy yourself a spinner like a hand spinner a hand spun hand, what's it called oh no why don't i know what it's called i have one just buy yourself one there's no need for this pain um i got 153 meters of fingering weight and 122 meters of thick thin hmm? fingering to dk uh wait probably gonna use it as a fingering pay wash i saw 3d printed a yarn gauge and a long dowel a longer dowel okay okay so you do have one a 3d printed one okay 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 a spindle that's what it is a draw of spindle am i so silly uh burgundy short hair maybe a new era tiffany dude that's like that's like a whole new era that's so funny um did a little mid project block on my dot sweater so here's the before and after Ooh, i mid blocked my monday top uh, and it's uh, i'm hoping it's gonna turn out okay uh, it's been drying for days so i'm excited to get back to working on it in the meantime i've been working on my star flake shawl by west knits Ooh, is that one of the um if that's one of the m cows i have uh contemplated that one but alas i will not the blocking stunning the blocking makes it so good 
oh, it's going to look so good on you. Stop. Um, have you tried henna? I've heard it works well with dark hair. I haven't used henna. And I guess I've never really had, like, the desire. I think I just really love my black hair. And, um, I never want to, I guess, like, not have it. I don't know. But yeah, I feel like something that was like a semi-permanent would be okay. Um, cause I have ruined it before and it was not okay. <laughs> Hear me out, wigs. With this hair, you think I can put a wig on top of that? That's hilarious. Uh, working on my first ever cumulus O neck in knitting for all of mohair. Damn, she's gonna pill like crazy, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be beautiful. And I love the color you chose. Oh my gosh, in that light, so good. Um, your black hair is beautiful too, for sure. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, you guys are silly. Um, I'm biased because I think all oh, women look amazing with short hair. Short hair is better than long hair. Ooh. Okay, yeah, I think we're just both biased. Um, and that is okay. But then, oh, but then like people cut it short. I'll be like, oh my God, it looks so good in you. And then I think to myself, I wish I could do that. But then I, I know I shouldn't. Uh, started the... Oh my gosh. See, okay. I choose very easy words to say for my patterns. How am I supposed to say that? Heaven <laughs> Top by Maria Bergman uh, earlier this morning. I'm on a roll. Love the color. So pretty. Honestly, I should just start doing Hakka words just to like mess with all of you and me pronounce it beautifully and uh, feel no shame. Uh, I'm one sleeve done, now on to the other and I'm finishing the body later. Oh, so pretty. This is, I'm pretty sure, the a Lynette top, maybe, and it's beautiful. Uh, I'm ready to go back. Blonde or pink? I think it's because summer is hitting. Summer is hitting. <gasps> oh, the Triazo is hitting. I've been wearing my Triazo cardigan all the time. And somehow Nora Viola doesn't pill. Dude, it is pretty good. Like, if you did hold it with one thread mohair, it is so good. Oh my god, it looks so good. Oh my god, crying. Crying because it looks exactly like mine. And I don't know, it's kind of... It's, it's so cute to think you guys have something that I've made with you. It's just like a little, like a little piece of me is with you guys all the time kind of thing. And that's beautiful. Anyway, um, Manic Panic is a semi-perm color that's specific for darker hair. Okay, okay. Gives it a red hue when you're in the sun. My friend did do that and it was quite nice. Um, Die Young, Haley Williams has a dye. That is a single use. Oh, can be washed out in a shower or two. Okay. Good dye young. Okay, okay. Uh, what was the white and blue striped zipper called? It didn't say. It did not say. Uh, I'm going to pick the hardest word to pronounce um, in Maori. <laughs> Sorry, I have to think back to Maori uh, words now for my patterns. That will literally break me. Um, but sorry. We've got the Esther. Stunning. Great cream. We've got the Johan Loop. Oh, okay. I like yours. Like, I didn't like the, um, if I'm thinking of the right one, it, it's by other loops, right? Or am I thinking of the wrong person? Um, but she made it with like a yellow. It was quite a light contrast and I didn't like that contrast. Okay. Ooh, okay. Hey, hey, hey. Hope you're all feeling fabulous and fantastic today. Here are a few projects of mine. The Peachy Pink is a test knit for the Korea Bia. It's her Santa cardigan. I'm using Sorella DK. Oh, in Boulangerie. Um, my aunt is also coming into town soon. I made these little friends for one of her babies. It'll be my first time meeting him. He's under a year, so I thought these cuties would be so nice for him to play with. For my aunt, I'm making her the Tiny Shells Shawl by Sorry Nordlin. She's got a girl as well. I want to make the Penelope kerchief for her, but that takes two days, so I'll do it closer to when they get here. I'd be so excited to get these gifts. The softies are for his friends by Esther Brathwaite. Ah, oh, so good. Also, so sweet, uh, adorable, and amazing. I, wow. If this is the cardigan, right? Korea Bia, wow. Absolutely, wow. It's a cardigan. God, I need to get on that level. Um, but 
I hope you can get them done because they're stunning. Um, one of my cheap Amazon needles broke and super glued it back together and I swear it was good as new. <laughs> um, I should really be doing that. Ooh, typical sweater progress. The navy isn't the most exciting to work, but I do need it as a wardrobe staple and I love the way it's looking so far. Yeah, I agree. Like the navy is not going to be super fun, but it's so classic and I want it for myself. And I hope you, I hope it knits up lovely. Um... On my second sleeve of the Merlot sweater by Knits by Summer, I did the cuff ribbing inside out. And it turned out a million times neater than all my other ribbed cuffs. Oh shit, that's so cool. Oh, that's so smart. So does that mean that your pearls are tighter? And maybe they're more uh, neater? Nonetheless, stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. So good. Um, a baby vest in eight millimeter to tempt a chunky baby knit pattern. Ignore the mess. Um, I'm sorry, wait, to tempt me? I, I hope that's not what you're saying. <laughs> Don't you dare. Um, beautiful nonetheless. So easy peasy. I feel like it's so easy to have like baby knits in the background because like, I could have so many tests going on because, like, they're so small and tiny and easy to make. Uh, making good progress on my Wanaka sweater. Lovely. Um, wait, is the pattern out yet? And you're just making it, right? I don't know why I'm confused. Anyway, lovely. Love the orange. Um, feeling a little late to the trend by starting the porcelain. UK is still super cold, so not quite ready for spring summer knits yet. First color work too. It's a bit confusing at times, but I'm learning a lot of new techniques, so it's fun. Yay! Um, love the colors that you're choosing. I can't tell if you're like literally randomly choosing these or if it's um, just a variegated sum, but it's lovely. Uh, okay, next. Working on the Marie case. Okay. What is the difference? <laughs> Can someone tell me what the difference is with the Marie case and the Marie purse? And I swear to God, that's all she made. But like, what is the diff? Wait, let me, sorry. We're going on a side tangent quest to figure out what this is all about. Okay, so she has, she has the Marie case, the Marie pillow, Marie purse. Wait a second. Okay, yeah, yeah. the Marie clutch. She has the Marie purse and now she has a Marie case. How is the Marie case going to be the exact same price? Okay, it's a 45. Wait, is it 45 the cost of her normal patterns? Or am I getting that mixed up? Yeah, her normal patterns are 45. So they're all $9? Okay, this to me, I was so confused as to why this was $9. I'm so sorry. This is $9 and this is $9. How can you do that? The Mary case is worked in one piece from bottom up. Okay, there's three sizes. Maybe that's why. But like, am I the only one who's confused? Oh, I see. It just has a flat bottom, but then the edge here is similar to the purse. But the purse is flat at the bottom. But the clutch has both this top section and the bottom section are both knit flat. I see. I see, I see. I'm confused literally 24 seven, don't worry. Um, damn, she's wild. She's absolutely wild to have three different purse patterns that are the same stitch. But luckily I have purse. I have purse. Same. Actually, no, I don't think I have any of these patterns. Um, 
but I, I get it, I guess. It's quite nice. And I guess the lining is different as well. The pattern, the pillow would be worth the money if it actually had instructions on how to make the back of the pillow instead of trying to convince you to buy the back of the, from there. <laughs> yeah, the back. Oh my gosh, how would I even, how would I even sew this? Oh gosh. Um, anyway, that hurts me internally. But get that coin, get that bag, girl. Literally get that purse. Purse first. A clutch is something you hold while the purse is like a regular bag. I recently found out that Patina Sophie Scarf has 200, no, 20,000 projects on Ravelry. I just think that she's made 100k over one pattern. That's crazy. Oh, gosh, she's goals, this woman. Um, that's how I feel about the honey wash bag and clutch. Yeah, that's why I only bought one of them. Um can't even be mad because that is successful she truly is just she could release anything and it's fine um also not knitting but still crafting for summer got a cute speckled fabric to sew this top on the right back shirt black shirt pick is from the designer oh my god it kind of looks like terrazzo <laughs> dude yes i'm excited for you um what's her name yeah nicole sorry from cool stitches she has a pattern like this very nice it's how she can afford five kids in this economy, for sure. Can't even afford one adult, me. <laughs> uh, wait, is that Terrazzo? I think this is Terrazzo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it's just a common thing now. Ooh, oh my gosh! Finally uh, finished my Sonia sweater. The right is me wearing it unblocked. I'm waiting for it to dry now. Lovely. Oh, the block is gonna be so lovely. This was your, um, the Holger uh, sweater adult. We love. Um, Okay, I love the shirt trend with the ties in front. I want to sew one so bad. Um, it is very nice, and you should. The answer is you absolutely should. Uh, that's five kids too many. <laughs> it truly is. Um, Cause like, how do you even? How do you even live? I've been following this girl. Her name's um, Indy Clinton, I think. Um, and she's three kids. She, she's like three kids under four and she's on TikTok. She's really big. Uh, she's this, I think she's Australian. Uh, and her kids are so chaotic. Like they look like they're crazy. And I, I don't know. I don't know if I want that. <laughs> like I see it. I'm like, I don't know if I want that. But then her kids also, like, Petit Ned's kids, sorry. Her kids look really calm. So then I get confused when I see this other woman's kids. Um, gonna be spending my day off working on the body for the typical sweater. Oh, I love that you chose a blue as well. It's just, she's stunning. What can I say? Um, I know I didn't, I know I didn't know she had that many kids before. Dude, no, she has so many. She's like a little army. She has like a basketball team. She has a, she's a complete hockey team. Do you know what I mean? Oh my gosh. TV static vibes are giving. Almost done the body ribbing for my typical sweater and hoping to start the sleeves today. Excuse me. Um, stunning. First off, second, how are you guys so fast? <laughs> you guys are crazy. I love, that makes me so happy. Uh, muscle bruh. Uh, hat in Cascade 220. Did you do this? You did this. There's no way you, Because this is a lovely blur or fade. Gosh, it looks so good. Holy schmoly um, Her husband is also a doctor, so they are well regarded <laughs> Hi, sorry, I'm late. I miss so much. I'm the one who got the scene. It's off oh, from my husband. Oh, just went back to see your reaction I'm very lucky, but he knows he will get many sweaters for uh, from me, so win-win. Oh, that's oh, lovely. The yarn did it. No, it didn't. No, this yarn did not. Excuse me, how? Excuse me, when? That's crazy. It's wild and ombre. Very cool. That is very cool. <gasps> Testnet mohair cardigan in the works. Hoping to finish before Saturday for the Brooklyn yarn crawl. She will have short sleeves. Don't fret. <laughs> okay, I was worried for you, but very nice. Uh, I'm into it. Short sleeve mohair I'm very into. Um, 
met was just on a dating edge TV show uh, where you see her house and learn more about her. She's on TV? That's crazy. Four of her kids share a room and they have an au pair. I know it sounds, I know it looks like she can, no wait, I know it looks like she can do it all herself. Um, oh, I see, okay. An au pair, I just learned, is like a thing that comes out underneath a thingy mabob. One second. I need to look this up. Uh, oh, pear. I need to watch this. I need to watch this. Um, I just looked up oh, pear, and it just shows me children. So I don't love that. Um, bed. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong thing. It's not showing me anything. I... What is this? I am... Ugh. An au pair's a nanny. Okay, then what am I thinking of? What is that thing? Okay, okay, that makes more sense. It's a live-in- Oh, it's a live-in nanny! No, okay, what am I thinking? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Wait, I need to explain what I'm thinking. Bed with pull-out? Bunk bed? Um... It's this thing. I don't know why this is what I was thinking. Like a pullout. What is this? It's a trundle. Sorry, I was thinking of a trundle. Don't ask me why I thought it was a trundle. Thank you all. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, okay, I didn't, I di oh, okay. Au pair is a live-in nanny, wow. Uh, I feel like she would have had to have some sort of help because there's no way she like goes out do so many things um crazy i need to watch the show now i need to watch i need to watch her show i don't know how i'm gonna get there or how we're gonna find it but i would love to see the inside of her house um not to be like in a creepy stalker way but like kind of because i would love to see um where like it, it, i think it'd be nice to see where she takes the photos and like compare them to what i see on instagram and see if that is a thing. Um, so sorry for all that confusion, people. Kithenko. Um, I forgot her name, but my friend follows this girl who starts planning her next baby three months postpartum, and this is her fourth. I cannot. Three months postpartum. I was just feeling sort of normal. Um, I don't like that. That's not allowed. I don't like that. Um, that's so close. Like, your, your kids would be... Your kids would be in the same year almost. That's like, I don't know. Um, it's typically a cultural exchange program where you travel to another country to be in, a live-in nanny. Oh, I know there's lots of, I see lots of TikToks of people being like nannies in New York, which I find very interesting. Or I also follow people who are, um, what's it called? Personal chefs? Oh my gosh, I need to look for her again. I used to follow her. I do follow her. She, she was in someone's thing and it was, she cooked really good food. Anyway, um, to live a life that that like that sounds so nice. Uh, making great progress on my Janny sweater and my drink matches. Lovely drink. To be so classy, to pour yourself a glass of water and just slice some limes in it. I want to be that. Um, ooh, finished my April capsule, the test knit, and started working on my summerly uh, knit Quintana. Quintata. Quinata. What? Quinata. Socks. I'm so sorry. Lovely. We love that for you. Uh, didn't know that sort of exists. I put a link in the stream chat. Thank you, thank you. I will look at it. Should we look at it? There's no way I can put this on. There's no way I could stream that. Um, but I love this. I would love to see how this looks. Stunning. Uh, needed to finish the foot of my second sock and then onto the toes. Sorry, I'm just like thinking about how you're knitting this. Oh my gosh, are you knitting this like from like both ends on separate needles? Cause that's hilarious, I love that. Um, ooh, started working on a naked knit test knit. Yes, it's so hard to show what it looks like, but picture a bandeau with straps and without a back. A bandeau with straps, no back. 
no back. Like, like it tapers? Or, oh, or it just wraps around. It wraps, no. It wraps, it wraps around. Does that make sense? Like wraps around here. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say, but cashmere, lovely. Uh, went on vacation to Oslo for my university spring break and I bought some beautiful yarn. I'm making the cumulus top in the orange, but I'm not sure about the other yarn. Oh my gosh. Oh, this red is so pretty. Um, I don't know. You only bought two? <laughs> Hard to say. Well, maybe a cami of some sort for sure. Um... Don't mind the baby stuff in the background, uh, but this is jacket number one for my mom. Oh, I remember, yes. Finally having it blocking and just, I just have to sew on a few buttons or sew on buttons. Um, I do feel like I remembered you saying you were just starting this and I was like, oh my gosh, how is she gonna do that for her mom? But alas, here's the whole thing. Lovely. For the past few streams, we talk about children and how we don't want to have them. It's a struggle. It's a true struggle. Um, when I was young, I was an au pair in London for 15 months to learn the language better and to have fun after the care uh, taking of the kids. I'm Swedish. Oh, that's really cool. Do I do that? Should I do that? <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, I have a friend who's a personal chef in Vancouver. Oh, that's really cool. Dude, but the video I was watching, or the girl that I follow, like... It looks like it takes up her whole day. I can't imagine, I can't imagine working for that long and then also like having to buy the ingredients and cook every single meal. I don't know, it just looks like too much. It's like, like you're like working too much. Um, blocking the Sonia sweater for my BF. I love that you're blocking it at this stage. Uh, will I fall victim to the boyfriend's sweater curse? Only time will tell. Um, if you do, ask for the sweater back, because this looks really pretty. Um, yeah, maybe, like, write, like, a, like, a contract. Be like, okay, yeah, if we ever break up, the sweater's mine. If you don't wear it at least once a week, it's mine, kind of thing. Um, because it's so beautiful. Just finished my first shawl. I did the Canyon Lands by Very Busy Monkey in a hand-dyed superwash merino. Very excited to wear it for spring. Oh, that's a pretty spring color. That's really nice. Love a good hand-dyed. Lol, I'm like trying to gauge the size. But I'm looking at your blocks, there's three blocks. <laughs> I'm looking at your feet here. I'm like gauging the table. It's quite a large one. I don't know, in the picture it looks quite small, but that's just because you're like further away. Um, I'd love to be a nanny, but I'm kind of goth and I don't think they'd hire me. I used to babysit. I loved the movie. Um, if anyone watched the movie with Charlotte, nope, not her, Scarlett Johansson and uh, Chris Evans, she becomes like a nanny, like a living nanny for this family. And like Chris Evans somehow lives on the same floor or something as this very rich family. And they fall in love and I remember really enjoying that. Uh, also blocking my heartless top, my mini mock neck, and typical vest. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely. Oh, I gotta put pockets on mine, but I don't have, I don't have any leftover yarn, which makes me feel like I can't. Um, hello? What's up? Sorry, my boyfriend called. Um, he never remembers. He will never remember the streams are on Tuesdays, Thursdays. Um, oh, what am I reading this? I can barely deal with my nieces and nephews. They're expensive and I'm not even their sole provider on the daily. Uh, I was a part-time nanny while I was paying my way through grad school. It was good money in San Fran. Literally double what my first full-time therapist job paid. Damn. For the past few streams, oh, I read that one. A nine in circulars. Uh, I love kids, but I don't want my own. <laughs> Put a tag on the inside. If on the chance we break up, please return to blank. Yes. Or you sew in like your name and be like, call, like your name's boyfriend. So if you break up, then that's just devastating. Um, motherhood is so much sacrifice. I want to be selfish as much as possible 
for sure. I feel like I'm being very selfish right now and I'm okay with that. Um, I'm fully enjoying my role as the fun Tia for my friend's kids, but I don't want my own kids. The only kids I'll have are cats. I want an in sleep when I want. How am I going to do that with a baby? I know everyone's like, or like people I see on TikTok. Again, sorry. I just watch TikTok a lot. Okay, just bear with me. Um, and they'll be like, um, don't have, they're like, red flags to like, to like, to see um in a partner if you want to have kids with them or whatever and one of them was like if if he can't if he has to have like a full eight hours hours of sleep and be a person if like if he sorry i don't know why i can't phrase this um the woman was essentially saying like you can't have a kid with a guy who uh, needs or requires eight hours of sleep to function because uh, she knew someone who had that type of man and then she would have to take care of the kid during the night. And the issue with that is like, I need eight hours of sleep or I can't function. Like, I don't think I am the red flag. Um, this, ne this man needs to put it in his calendar. Um, he's like, Tip, don't make me sign any contracts. Um, like, it's a whole thing finding someone to watch our dog when we go away. It'd be so much work for a whole kid. Very true. I would just force it on my parents. Because um, they forced me to live. Um, am I the only resident mom here? Okay. I swear, usually there are more moms here. I swear. You aren't the only one. Because I have heard of people talking about their kids before, but it is funny that there are, like, not as many people saying it, and that's totally fine. Um, but thank you for being our resident mom. We praise you. Uh, it's low-key surprising there's only one mom here, also not at all. Uh, seeing those types of videos are my free birth control. My husband is that type of guy, but we both understood it was temporary and he saw me struggle and he took over from me. No questions asked. He just did it all. Oh. Okay. Well, stunning. Um, speaking of not contributing to population, did you hear about how South Korea has no first graders enrolled in 150 of their schools because of the 4B movement? Wow. That is um that is really iconic and oh my god the iconic sweater okay anyway um i love that i love that they've also done nothing about it they've just they've just seen this happen and they're like okay uh because what are they even gonna do i feel like dogs are harder though or people are less willing to watch them mm. if your dog's sweet and is lovely i'd be happy I'd be happy to take care of a dog. Okay, tested hitting the Claire Vest from Mochi Knits in Is Your Trio, Trio 2. At first it felt like knitting with hay, but after blocking it so soft and drapey, yeah. Oh, I totally agree. Love. I actually really do like the, the Is Your yarns. Um, like the linen specifically. Currently working on the typical sweater test knit. I'm using Baraka Ultra Alpaca in color Ocean Mix. Ocean Nix Mix. She's stunning in the sun. I saw your um, picture on the group chat and it has like this most beautiful, like it's teal, but it's green, like little mixture. I love it. No, I am a mom. Kids are great. Okay, okay. <laughs> I do a poll. That'd be hilarious. Um, government should make having kids more accessible and maybe people will start again but also the 4b is a different situation dogs you can pay a dog sitter kennel though i don't know if they have that for babies <gasps> imagine they had that for babies like overnight babysitting that's i don't think that's legal um I don't understand why Petit Knit wants us to knit back and forth and Honeycomb, it's easier to knit in the round. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I was like, I don't know why. I, Cause I was knitting it um, flat, right? Yeah, and then you sew it up. 
someone told me you could knit it in the round and I was like, oh my God, you're so right. You're so smart. And I felt so dumb because now mine has like a weird seam. So honestly, knit in the round. Um, OMG, I'm perfectly content with my little dog. I literally want to get a hysterectomy, unfortunately. Oh, because of your endo, but also because I never want to have kids. Iconic. Ooh, this is the link. Thank you, thank you. Um, I will watch this later. Um, my sibling-in-laws take their dog to a kennel anytime they stay out overnight. Yes, yes, random, but have you all seen the new M in the Moment video about the Woolen Folk update? No, is it good? Is it juicy? I will watch it. A baby kennel, yeah. When I go on vacation, I do, but that's so expensive. True. True, I feel like it's so expensive. Yes, it's almost... Like it has a little halo that's strictly green. Yeah, okay, yeah, the halo, totally. Uh, still working on my actual pants, the Tiff's uni sweater and a linen t-shirt. That's hilarious. That is so close to like the actual red of my uni sweater. Uh, I love that. Uh, finally, finally joined the front and back of my Sailor Swift top. I'm really excited to wear it. This is my first time doing a tank, so I'm hoping it turns out okay. Uh, it looks like it's gonna turn out amazing, so I don't think you have to worry at all. It's lovely. Um, when you're young, you're working a typical minimum wage job and your coworkers work the same job and have to provide for their kids. It's so bizarre to me. Okay, lovely. We finished. Um, here I am. Did I say I was going to do something? I don't remember. Alas. Uh, if they had the creepy little camera to watch the babies play like they do for kennels. Do they really? Wait, no, they don't show you that. They just have it for themselves. But wouldn't that just be a baby monitor? Uh, me? I'm gonna start up a baby kennel? I'm sorry. Um, kennels aren't cheap. Yeah, context got lost, but I meant there are at least options for traveling, leaving your pet, but not a human child. Um, if men weren't terrible... Then there would be more kids. I won't ever have a kid unless my husband would be a good father and partner in me. Yeah. You have to have to find good ones. And it's hard. Um, yes. It's like, dude, the nerve of that lady. Oh. Okay, well, I have to watch that. Um, I babysat a family friend's kid. And it was practically overnight. The mom said that they would be home by midnight they weren't until three i feel i feel that though though like i feel like they really try to like escape <laughs> so just let them have those extra those uh extra three hours um because they're probably dying over there um my partner would make a good dad which is tragic because we both don't want kids my fiance would be the best dad ever but we both don't want kids oh my gosh devastating um, I would say then just get a lovely animal and they can be a dad to them. Um, oh, I know I would be a great one, but I hate when people tell me that as if it's a reason why I should have kids. It just means you're a very caring person. Um, and like, you're just amazing. But that doesn't mean that you have to have children. Um... As a therapist who works with kids, I know more than most how problematic it is when people who don't actually want kids have kids. True. But the issue is then that like all the people who would be amazing parents aren't having them, but people who are terrible parents are having them. So then our population is just going to skew in the wrong direction. Love how people are knitting tanks and I'm finishing my fur. I'm finishing my chunky vest uh, as I might be able to wear it still in scotland oh wow okay um like i put my fingerless mitts in my skinny but my skinny but wool scarf on today love i mean i'm not wearing tanks yet either it's quite cold here i think i'm just getting overly excited about something that is not to come uh everyone watch the video and we'll discuss on thursday Honestly, we should do that. That should be our homework guys. Everyone go watch the made in the moment update on the one folk video and For a bonus points if you want to go watch the patina video um, That is strictly in Danish uh, That is in the stream chat. Thank you again uh, Becca and we will discuss on Thursday um, He's a father to our two pet gerbils love 
okay, but my sister-in-law's baby daddy will go to work and come out of work, and then instead of picking up the baby, he goes home nap and pick up the baby. Like, must be nice. My sister-in-law doesn't have that option. Ugh. Imagine napping. A man be a friend once told me that I had good mom energy, and I felt so honored. It was so weird. My uncle, he was like, I feel like you could do really well. Um... He told me that I looked like a person who could run my own daycare. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Cause I was, uh, I was like playing with his, um, he had like a, I think the kid's like two or three, maybe he's four now anyway. And I was like, thanks. But like, excuse me at the same time. Um, uh, baby hugs are such a good de-stressor. It's literally snowing where I'm at. I'm in Alaska. Okay, okay. It's 19 degrees in Ottawa today. That's very hot. Let me check. Let me check the weather. It is 11 degrees here in Vancouver. I'm sorry, Celsius. Um, LA doesn't know what season we're in right now. It'll be cold and rainy, foggy one day, and then warm and sunny the next. Um, so I totally get it though. I love my baby and being a mama bow. So if someone says they don't want kids, cool, I get it. It's a lot. I'm not judging anyone. Oh, no, 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 no. Judge free zone. Oh my goodness, no. Uh, we love you all. And all I care about is knitting. So if you just want to knit with me, I love that. Um, just got a flood warning. Love. Please stay safe. That's crazy. Um, also stay safe with the earthquakes i'm like a little worried about that um people are knitting summer knits so they're ready when summer starts yeah it's kind of like when people will knit sweaters kind of at the end of summer just because you're like getting ready for that time um You do, TBH? I think you'd cry every few hours because being in a room with nine kids, it's just natural. But you have a good demeanor for kids. Interesting. And sometimes my friends will be like, oh, I feel like you would be a really good teacher. And I'm like, interesting. Interesting. Um, I wonder if I would. Uh, okay, my mom is just silently silently expecting grandkids rip uh i speak from experience i'm late but i finally made it to a live thank you for coming i live in internal humidity here in florida okay but then like are you just knitting really beautiful tanks all the time like i'm wondering like what your collection of garments are or things that you make or do you even make clothes i guess i just assume people do which is not a lovely assumption. Uh, just a heads up if anyone is actually going to watch the show with Petite Knit. It's, it's technically a competition between two people to guess things about the person that they yet don't know who they are based on what they see in the home. Oh wait, that's really cool. Funny how she's a part of that show, but I love it. Um, I guess it's kind of like, how could you even guess that? Like, um, But then, is knitting, like, is a knitwear designer very typical or common in Denmark? So, like, if it were here, there's no way anyone would guess me. That makes no sense. Uh, oh, rain and Coachella weekend. Wait, it's Coachella weekend? Oh, yeah, April. Uh, LA is going to be so peaceful in the streets this weekend. Um, I've thought about going to Coachella, but I would never... Like, I don't know, I was really into, like, my concert era, so I get it, because you get to see so many people, but I can't imagine it being very enjoyable at all. I'd have to bring a portable chair with me everywhere. Um, do you guys feel like your knitting style changes between warm and cold weather? In warm weather, I find myself choosing patterns with a new technique. In cold weather, I focus on wearable garments. Hmm. I think... I mean, you do you. Like, if you feel like that's just who you are and what your style is, then I think it's okay to not be consistent. Um, because that's what you like. And I hate, like, the idea of feeling like you have to put yourself in a box, you know? 
like if you only like very simple things that's all you're allowed to like but no I love that for you oh so Matt is on it until the last five ten minutes but it's all her house and stuff okay okay thank you thank you um the show has been on for years and it's always famous danish people but there's only so many famous people oh <laughs> um i will fully watch it uh my in-laws expect grandkids but neither of their kids want children devastating i hope they're gonna be okay um but will i say do i feel like it changes between the warm and the cold weather i think I'm pretty consistent <laughs> since uh, my knitting is truly based off of whether I enjoy stockinette enough uh, to make something. Um, I knit everything TBH. I'm just picking about the composition of yarns. Okay, love. This year is going by fast. It is already April. Crazy. Um, Coachella, not that great. You need to be pissed drunk. Okay, good to know. I don't think I have the physical or mental energy for Coachella. Oh, no, no, no. Um, I think this generation of women are over the romanticization of children. They tell us it's the right to passage to being a woman, but you can tell so much women would be happier without having their kids. I feel, yeah, I feel like I just see so many more people coming out as like telling me what it actually is like or being like, no one told me it was going to be like this. And then they tell me everything it is and I'm scared. So, um, I, I'm happy for this intel. Um, so I know what I'm getting myself into. Um, uh, I went to Coachella in 2012 when I was in college and it was all right, but once was enough for me. Yeah, like, I think I'm already out of my concert phase, but I, I always think, like, oh, wouldn't it be cool? Like, wouldn't it be kind of cool? Like, imagine going to the Beyonce one. That, I think, would have been life-changing. So, I just think about that sometimes. Um, I high want to go to Coachella. My back can't take a festival. That's why portable chair. I bring a portable chair everywhere. Um... But I think it makes more sense if you live there, I would go there. But to fly there seems like a lot of work. Um, it's bombed for 30 years. I'm too old for multi-day music festivals now. College in a few years after was peak time for me. Yes. Oh, no. I just accidentally ripped the charm off, the, the, the charm off my stitch marker. No. Can you put it back on? Um, oh, what list? The girl with the list? What list? List of reasons why she wouldn't have kids. <laughs> uh, one of my classmates went to Coachella last year and she told me she was waiting hours for Frank Ocean and never came. Oh yeah, I remember that scandal. That did happen. Oh, the heart one you I made? Oh no. I think you can put it together if you really do try. Um, I've been in over 10 years. I think the last year I went was the Tupac year. Damn. Um, list of reasons not to have kids giving birth. A huge list okay you age out of the standing sections dude seats are amazing um, I could never stand ever again uh, you need to be in the front to enjoy a concert or the artist just gonna look like an ant <laughs> uh, I told my therapist like I totally get people who have kid after kid because I felt my best pregnant I was more social skin glowing like good vibes but I'm not immune to reality I'm not going to be chasing that high. The, the recovery is not it, sis. Oh my gosh. I feel like I get, I, I can, not me being never pregnant in my entire life, but I can totally see that. Like, I feel like being pregnant is either like the best thing or it's the worst thing. But like, I would never want to do that all the time just to have that feeling. That's crazy. Um. I don't have pliers, but it can be fixed. Okay, good, good. Uh, in my peak, I flew to another state and paid so much for tickets. People do that. People do do that. I, I see um, lots of people do that for Tay Tay tickets. Um, and I'm like, damn. Tupac came to my college last year? I didn't go though? 
Um, are we talking about the same person? Um, I think we could be not. Um, I saw I saw neck deep the other weekend. Who is that? It started at four thirty. We were home by eight, like the old people we are now. Are we thinking the same Tupac? Not Tupac coming back from the dead. Wait, maybe a maybe we taking the wrong Tupac. Wait a second. Okay, yeah, no. <laughs> Confused. Okay, wait. What's neck deep? Oh, okay. I don't know who they are, but that's a lovely time for a concert. Um. I mean, we are literally traveling to Sweden from LA to see Taylor again, and I paid more for the tickets than for the flight. Damn. Dude, people are like jacking up the prices for the hotels when people come for the Taylor Swift here, and um, I, uh, uh, I feel bad because it looks real spency. Uh, I did it for BTS and getting tickets was wild. Oh my god, how did you even get tickets? It doesn't even sound possible. Um, I used to be obsessed with Neck Deep. Love pop punk because they're always earlier. I didn't know that. Uh, I flew to Germany to see BTS. Oh my gosh, you guys. You guys are crazy. Oh my god, I love. Um, sorry, but the Tupac thing made me cackle. <laughs> no, because I'm confused. I'm a little confused. Probably two chains. I Like, I the reason I can't look up two. Like, I'm gonna look up two and then rapper and then see what comes up. Um... Did you get tailored tickets? I did not. I did apply and I did not get them and I wasn't gonna... I'm like not one of those people to really go above and beyond. It was more just like if it happens upon me, I will take it as a sign that I was supposed to go. But if I don't get it, and that's also a sign. Um, I don't know if Miss Swift is even coming to Edmonton. I don't think so. I think it was only Vancouver or Toronto. She really does not like Canada. <laughs> um, OMG, yeah, finding a place to stay in Stockholm that wasn't in the outskirts or super expensive was such a struggle. Yeah, I can see that. Um, OMG, sorry guys, it was two chains. Oh my god, I love, I love that we figured it out. <laughs> um, K-pop tickets these days are insane. I know when BTS comes back, the cheapest tickets are gonna be 2K. Damn, that's crazy. That's that's a lot. Um, I feel bad for people who don't get the tickets but then pay scalpers. Aw, dude, okay, and then apparently uh, a couple provinces or something are like suing Ticketmaster because the um, they're like allowing uh, outside parties to buy the tickets um, and then like jack up the prices. So it's just like not even worth it anymore. Uh, girl in my youth, I used four computers to be in line for those, um, for those tickets for hours. Damn, that's, that's pure dedication. Um, even now I don't even know cause, um, of like bots and stuff like that. Um, you can death till I didn't go. <laughs> I want to go see Paramore in concert, but they're literally always more than I'm willing to spend. But I ended up going uh, one day. It's been a dream since middle school. Aww. Honestly, if it's a dream, that's so cute. Um, a tease. Praying a tease comes to London sometime, but I'm scared to try and get K-pop tickets. Um, I don't listen to them. When I got my BTS, they were around 2K, not gonna lie. Damn. Wait, I know someone who went to the BTS concert. Who was it? I don't remember anymore. Um, down with Ticketmaster. Doesn't Ticketmaster oversell tickets and sell tickets that are already sold? Oh gosh, do they really? Is Ticketmaster a ripoff? No, I mean... They probably are. They probably jack up the prices like crazy, but I, I always get the ticket. 
They sold my ticket? Oh my god. The last show I went to was last year. Falling Reverse, Papa Roche, Escape the Fate, and Hollywood Un... Un... un, un, un Unread, undead. I got sleepy by 10. <laughs> Girly. Um, I would like to go to a male rapper concert like Playboy Cardi or Tyler the Creator, but their fans are crazy. Uh, yeah, I can see that. Just like, just get a seat. Just get a lovely little seat. Okay, I'd pay 2K for BTS. Gotta be honest, they're a great performance. I feel like it would be a performance of a lifetime for sure. Um,. I'll just be throwing stuff. Yeah, that's gross. The capital greed of Ticketmaster is going to be eventually... Is going to eventually kill concerts. Wow. I would love to see Escape the Fate's first album with Ronnie Radka. Mm? I'm sending good energy so everyone gets their dream tickets. I feel like I've seen... Like, I don't feel like I ever really need to go to another big concert. It was so worth the money. <laughs> uh, kind of random, but has anyone seen the K-drama like Thai show on Netflix called Ready, Set, Date? I have not. What is that all about? I've been rewatching a Spy X Family on Netflix because I had to uh, stream it, and I like it. I like it without the ads, so I watch it. Um, but I need to watch the second season. Uh, I'm sorry, this is the update. I love it, but it's kind of short, so we're going to keep going. Um, I'd watch Adele. Like, I'd go to Vegas and watch Adele. I think that would be iconic. Um, sorry, I need to stop saying iconic. Uh, I paid 2 k for Taylor, one each for me and my mom, but it was an unfortunate experience. No, <laughs> unfortunate, unforgettable experience and well worth the money, I see. I was watching a, um, a video or something. It was like a BTS of people saying how much they paid for the Super Bowl tickets. And like, they were like 10, 20K. And the guy was like, this has been like a bucket list item of me. If I, and he was like, I have to. But that to me is so scary. Because what happens if your team loses? Like, what you could have done with that 10K? So many things. Um, my first and only concert was T-Swift. Went for free, damn. Dell tickets sell so fast. Oh. The energy of concerts is unmatched. It always pe peps me up for the next, like, month. Um, if I was rich, I'd, I'd pay Adele to sing at my wedding. 10K is a car down payment. You cry. Okay. Um, I love that we're talking about concerts. That's so funny. Um, but anyway, I think we can end it here. I'll continue this, but alas, not much progress. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for coming. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, today was really fun, and I feel like good chat, good chat. Um, Thursday, we will keep going. <laughs> yeah, you'll see me Thursday. What? Um, but yeah, 1 p.m. Tuesday, Thursdays, PSG. Um, if you like this video or stream, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and push the notification bell when you want to be notified when I post. Um, thank you all for coming. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day, evening, night, anything, wherever you are. Yes, Yasmin, don't forget the homework. The homework is made in the moment. We got to watch that video and also the Pagina if you want to. Uh, thank you all. I'll have a go today. Or no, someone said Hoda. Have a hoda day. Bye.